we've been looking at this fantastic, perfect Swiss clockwork with wheels that just work seamlessly and nobody really understands how it grew to work that perfectly. But don't touch it, it's perfect. Because it gives us maximum predictable solidity. And what we're saying now is we can't sacrifice that, but we need to be fluid at the same time. How does a company become solid and fluid at the same time? That's difficult. How do we square that circle? If I was the patient and there was a doctor here looking at me, he would roll his eyes or she would roll her eyes and say, oh, how banal. Another company that needs to get customer focused, innovative and agile. <coughs> That's what they all say. You have that natural mental attitude at home, switch brain on. When you go to work, there are all of these mechanisms, scorecards and leadership models and objectives, all of that, which removes you from that. So you can hide behind your scorecard and say, hey, my balance scorecard is now maxed out. Give me my bonus. And you have a path of destruction behind you. So the general mental attitude of leaders has been, tell me what to do. Leadership has therefore been a cascading mechanism. It's been a way to control the organization by the top telling the next level what to do and, and in the end hoping that, 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 that everything everyone does, if you sum it up, it becomes the whole of what we're aspiring to do. So the mental attitude we come from, tell me what to do, the, the mental attitude for leaders that we're going to is, help me understand the context and I will tell you what I intend to do. Because leadership is now no longer a cascading mechanism, it's an empowerment mechanism. There's an idea whose time has come, which is that control doesn't sit with the top, that questions don't necessarily get asked from the top. For the CEO to say, I really want to know what's on your mind. <laughs> and, and that's why I'm not asking the questions this time. If I ask the questions, then you're only going to rate on a scale from whatever to whatever, how you like what's on my mind. <laughs> you know? um, and uh, so, th you know, that's the sense-making I think you can do.